Zlatzjotovashi, and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 2. And in this part, we're going to declare war on the United States. And I know, it, right now it's September 7th, 1941, and yeah, it's a bit early. But, um, I'm bored, and I'm about as ready as I'm ever going to be for this invasion. So, um, it gets, it'll get started pretty quick. Uh, moved most of my fleet to End Wetok. And from there, um, it's a fairly central point where I can uh, control them from. But I've got most of my marines ready to uh, depart from <coughs> Kanzawa and uh, Kanazawa and um, Akita. Anyway, um, just want to say something. Uh, lots of people are all like, "Oh, oh, the, the the AI doesn't have range restrictions, and when you take Pearl Harbor, it won't matter." And, and blah 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 blah. Actually, uh, I've done this before. I've done this all before because uh, I kind of wanted to make sure it worked before I did it in a Let's Play. Turns out it does work, and once you take Pearl Harbor. Um, the American fleet doesn't do anything. They just kind of sit around and I'm just like, well, that's the end of that. And, uh, yeah. So, everything I, I know everything I'm doing works because it's already worked before. So, anyway, um, with that being said, I'm going to, uh, declare war. States. And first thing I'm gonna do is gonna take my large fleet from Atakai, or sorry, Akita. Launch an amphibious assault on Guam and take my uh, fleet from Kanazawa and launch an amphibious assault on Wake Island. Oh, whoops, I should probably actually switch those around. Uh, amphibious Assault, down there. And you launch an Amphibious Assault on Wake Island. Oh, sudden change of government? What the F? Uh, actually, click OK, and carry out the surprise attacks. Whoa. They just gave me a bunch of production that I don't need, so I'm gonna just, uh... There we go! Okay, back to the game. Oh no, it's not the Philippines! And oddly enough, when you declare war in the United States, um, Britain and, uh... Britain will not join them, because I haven't declared war in Britain, so. Once I deal with the United States in the Pacific, then I will declare war on the Allies, and at that point, the United States will probably join the Allies. But at this point, um, this is just a personal war between uh, me and the United States. Because uh, me and the United Kingdom are fighting one another. So, here's my amphibious assault on Wake Island. Went off uh, less than an hour it took us to take the island. Uh, Guam is usually a little bit harder to take. But, um... They lasted about six hours, but in the end, uh, they will be crushed. There they go. Guam is also a key island to take, just because it's like right in the center of, uh, of everything. Okay, Wake Island is taken. I'm gonna have this fleet rebased to Wake Island. Once Guam is taken, I'm gonna have that fleet rebased to Wake Island or to uh, Wake Island and, and gather up all the Marines and begin our assault on Pearl Harbor. Uh, rebase. There we go. Uh, 
rebase there. And, uh... Why is this, uh... Oh, there it goes. For some reason that division was telling me that it didn't have enough oil, but I've got plenty of oil. In fact, more oil than you can shake a stick at. Okay, come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. I always, I always like to say it before I, if, uh, before I attack Pearl Harbor. Um. Okay, now I'm going to take these clowns. Actually, I'm going to wait just a little bit just for them to regain some of their organization if they've lost any. But, um rest of you guys you get on the boat and it's time to go okay have you Pearl Harbor is a little bit harder to take so I like to have two fleets one fleet will uh, commence a shore bombardment on Pearl Harbor while the other fleet will launch the amphibious invasion and if for whatever reason my first assault, my first wave of marines fails to take the the harbor, I'll just send in my my next wave, and uh, that should be cool. It should take it. But this fleet is like awesome. This fleet is just stacked to the brim with like aircraft carriers and and battleships, and also uh, I have the most uh, advanced naval doctrines around. So I mean are pretty much uh, gonna win this but right now we can see looks like I'm gonna take oh no never mind oh no okay first assault failed next assault Come on, break, break. Yes. Okay. Um. Now I've got to get all these guys uh on the shore. This can always be a little bit tedious. You know what? When I say move, you guys move, okay? You do that. Jesus. Okay, you. Rebase there. What happened to my other fleet? You son of a bitch, you're not going anywhere. So Pearl Harbor is ours. Now I'm just going to uh, take uh, the entirety of my fleet, move them to Pearl Harbor. Unfortunately, moving fleets from one place to another is an incredibly tedious process, so I'm just going to skip ahead and I'll be right back. <laughs> 